A blacksmith simulator would be the best way to describe this game. Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome back. Good to see you for a game called Anvil Saga. This game, uh, well it's a demo of a game coming soon to Steam. Seems pretty cool so I figured we'd check it out. It's been on my radar for a bit as Steam had their uh, very very long uh, demo, like a two weeks period of demos before the Steam sale started. So hopefully this one comes out soon, sometime this year maybe, if things go according to plan. Well, let's go ahead and start the game. Uh, it's a story-based game, so it should be a good time, and we'll obviously get to make all sorts of different medieval weapons, and also uh, possibly help to defend the town against invaders and such by supplying the army, and building a big house and a cellar and all sorts of different stuff. So let's jump into the story mode for Anvil Saga today and see how it all goes. Hopefully it all goes well. and. Uh, I like that there's a sandbox mode, too. That's good. That's it. Hold the hammer tight. Swing your arm up and strike the blank. I can't. I'll never become a master like you. Listen. When your mother and I came to France, we didn't have a single penny on us. Nothing. But fire in the eyes and my old instruments. Really? Not a single penny? I didn't even know they used pennies in France. No! Not more than a couple of tailors, to be sure. Uh, this is Arthur, the hero of the story and your main character. Since childhood, he's been helping his father in the forge, but he's pretty good at all kind of craft. Craft, craft macaroni and cheese? Uh, control the camera with WASD. Oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, we can zoom in and out. That's cool. All right. Neat. Arthur, my son. Make some ingots at the smelter. We have lots of work today. All right, you got it. To complete orders, you'll need ingots. Ingots are smelted out of ore. All right. Right-click on the smelter so that Arthur starts making ingots. Okay, let's do it. I like this music. Uh, prepare ingots for the fair. One out of three. Two out of three. Ooh, look at these horses. I like them. Uh, one piece of ore is usually good enough for one ingot. The smith will smelt ingots one after another until they run out of ore. Excellent work, son. Go flip the sign. We're opening. Uh, left click on the sign to start accepting orders. See that one heading our way? Oh yeah, this lady. Take that order. I'll see how you do it. Don't worry. You'll do fine. Your first customer. Take a look at their order window. There you'll find the item and the resources needed for its creation and the reward. Ah, okay. So they want four... They want nails. It takes four ingots and we get nine dollars from it. Or nine pennies, as Dad would say. Accept the order by pressing the green check mark. People won't wait forever. They'll leave if their patient runs out before the order is complete. If the customer leaves, you won't receive any... You won't receive the money, nor lose the resources. However, uh, the customer might lose respect for your workshop and tell others about that as well. Right-click on the anvil to move the character there and start forging. Amen, brother! Oh, this looks good. I like the lighting and stuff. Well done, son. Look! It's Finley. His whole family comes to the fair every year. The young lady next to him is his daughter, Olivia. Is it the merchant from Gascony? Yes. Judging by the look on his face, he's happy with my forging. Oscar, you're here too. How are you faring? Thanks for the instruments and the harness. It's so perfect. Glad to see you at the fair. What brings you here, Finley? Oh, I'd like to order a small trick and a brooch for my beloved daughter. Do this for me, would you? It's a piece of cake. Right, son? You've got this. Oh, wow, that's fancy. Okay. I mu must be different types of metals in this game. This looks like silver. Gold, silver, maybe bronze? Or iron, too, I suppose? All sorts of things. Uh, sometimes you'll have to make a choice of what the affects the further story. Ooh. You'll see one of them now. Each option has a chance of success and failure. Study them carefully. You won't be able to go back on your choice. Oh. Uh, the merchant ordered brooch for his beautiful daughter. My father uh, brought a jewel for the bear. Oh. Ah, I see. Uh, use a fake jewel, make a simple brooch. Let's make a simple brooch. Let's not get in trouble. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh oh 
Uh, let's go with the... Yeah, let's make a simple brooch. It would be stupid for me to use the Baron's Jewel for decorating this brooch. I'll make a simple one. Yeah, otherwise we can... Yeah, we'll probably have to make that uh, ring or something later up with the jewel. Okay, let's go. Uh, make an empty brooch. Just trying to think of how all those outcomes could be, and it's probably not going to be a good one if we use the Baron's Ring, or at least the jewel, for this brooch. Dad, it's all done here. Good lad. Yeah, it's all done. Lovely, isn't it? Let me see. The work is absolutely stunning. Look. Oh my god, what a marvel. Thank you so much. Yeah, look at the way it glitters in the sun. Wow. My friend, I'm impressed you. I'll gladly pay you extra. You better be ready. I'll tell everyone about your amazing skills. Hello, blacksmith. Still working hard? Yes. More or less, my son's helping out a lot. He's much better than me at some things now. Oh, really? Well, looks like you. Now, will you make me a ring? Uh, make a jewel and custard ring, yeah. Oh, tell him we lost the jewel? Huh? Well, let's not make him mad. Uh, no matter what kind of person the Baron is, I'll do my work diligently so that I won't have to apologize to anyone. 80%. Let's go. All right, Baron, here comes your ring, bro. Oh! Is it really done? It's ready, sir. Here. Oh, wow. Not bad. Good work. You're a chip off the old block. Good lad. Thanks. It's great to have your work appreciated. Sure is. Have a good day and a great time at the fair. Looks like it's time for us to head home. Close the stall. Closing the stall tells your customers that no new orders are accepted, but those who are waiting for their order will stay. Okay, all done. Wait, we're open again, Dad. Wait, no, Dad, no. Okay. Father, what do you think about me and Olivia? Can we be friends? Well, we are not... We are just not their equal son, but... In a merchant's family, a groom is judged by how fat his purse is. Cheer up. Everything is in your hands. My father's words were no surprise to me. Inequality is both the scourge and the foundation of our society. However, the sincere smile and charming eyes of the merchant's daughter made my heart ache. The fair was coming to an end, so we gathered our belongings and I set off home. It was the last fair I got to visit with my father. The disease hit them hard. But even to his last breath, he did his best to transfer his knowledge and skills to me, even when he could barely hold a hammer in his trembling hands. I had no choice but to make my father proud and become a decent apprentice. You have a small house and a forge at your disposal. It's not much, but still better than starting from scratch. This is where the road to glory begins. Wealth and heart of your beloved girl begins. But all this lies far ahead. And for now, kindle the forge. Time to blow the dust off my father's hammer. Let's see what I can still remember. Okay. Oh, cool. We have a house now? Yeah. It looks like we're out in the countryside instead of being in the town. Okay. Let's make our way out there. Oh, I see a lot of troops. Uh oh, don't tell me this is the hundreds of year war. Uh, complete five orders. Okay. Well, we gotta wait for five people to come in. Here comes some now. Wow, those noses, though. Hello, everyone. Uh, let's start with the chain. Good. Oh, good, he's happy. He sounded like he was mad, but the weather is bad. I guess so. You want a horseshoe? Okay. I'm running out of ingots. I should make more at the smelter. Send Arthur to the smelter by right-clicking on it, of course. The little ones are sick again. The wind smells bad. Well, you are next to the horse stable, ma'am. Uh, let's do the horseshoe first. Whoa. 
<laughs> Your character has received a new trait. Characters can receive negative and positive traits. Each affects the character's behavior in a specific way. Carefully read the trait descriptions and pick the best assignment for each worker. Okay. Oh, look at all this stuff on the screen, too, by the way. There's ore ingots. Uh, current and maximum numbers. Oh. All right, let's see what else is there. Okay, we got three ready. Okay, let's make food here. Gotta make some food for you, ma'am. There you go. Thanks for coming to Wendy's. I'm running out of ore again. Time to dig the shaft. Oh boy. Sooner or later you start expanding your forge, building more rooms and even digging deep into the earth. Each forge needs a constant supply of ore. You can purchase it from the trader, but it's much more efficient to mine it yourself. Let's dig a shaft right in the cellar. To expand and upgrade the forge, open the construction menu. Oh, damn. Uh, let's finish this guy's thing. Ah, perfect. The merchant is here. Good. We'll get some more ore, and then we should be able to deliver some more ingots to the uh, crafting station to make more goodies. Excellent. Oh, and we're uh, just taking a little nap. Just a little. Just a little nap. Thank you, sir. Okay. He delivered what we needed him to. Good. Good. Other goals are to smelt seven out of ten ingots and complete four out of five orders. So we got a few more to go. Let's go ahead and open up, see if anybody comes in at nighttime. Nighttime orders? It's, <laughs> it's almost midnight, I suppose. The sun gone. Moon coming up. All right, let's see if we can do a little bit more smelting. One more. Hi, ma'am. We should be able to help you. What do you need? A chain. Sure. Get that going for you right away. Just stand by. All right, let's make you the chain. Looks like we can have orders ready ahead of time, too, like nails and such. Maybe that's from a different customer who left that we can still uh, work on. Oh, it looks like we have to expand to the forge. Every forge needs a constant supply of ore. You can purchase it from the trader. Let's dig a shaft in the cellar. Oh, looks like they want us to build a mine. Uh, let's see, hot cake. Okay, Q for that. Okay, hot key Q. Harvest was poor this year. Sorry to hear it, sir. Let's get ready for you. There you go. All right, Q. Let's build a room. Let's build a, let's see, a small room. Okay, there we go. Each room's construction takes some time. You'll have to wait for the builder to finish their work. Okay. Well, the builder's going to come by. Okay. Look, we're building new stuff. There we go. All right, where's the builder? There he is. All right, is your name happen to be Bob? Okay, Bob. All right, Bob's going to take a little bit of time, I think. Let's, uh... Oh, wait, 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 we got still iron ore. All right, man, we'll complete your order. Jamming out. Nice. Little green sleeves. There you go. Uh, something was not initially modest turned downpour. The roads were washed away. Oh, no, buying consumables is forbidden during the event. Price for wood is higher. Oh, no. All right, so it looks like we're not going to be able to buy the merchant for a while. Thank goodness we bought it ahead of time. We're going to have to go to that mine then. Sir, can you hurry up? Luckily, we have some money. Oh, sorry. We're closed now. We don't have enough iron ore. Two is probably okay for some jobs, but not all. We'll take a little nap. Hello, chicken. Excellent. Now choose the type for your new room. Each room has its own function and requires specific furniture. A room that doesn't have a function or required furniture will remain inactive. An exclamation mark will notify you of that. Press the exclamation mark to choose the room type or buy furniture uh, on what the room lacks before it can become operational. Okay. Well, we want this to be a mine. So what does a mine require? A crate in a basement. A basement? What? Okay, well, let's see how we put a crate in there. Uh, furniture. Furnish this room with a crate in a basement. Uh, that is in a totally different language, but I think that's it. And a basement. A uh, basement allows your workers to pick ore. Oh, good. We have just enough money for it. Okay. Well, that's everything we need to get the mine functioning. Let's go do some smelting. We'll have to do some mining for the ore, and then we'll do some smelting. Oh, I see. So we go down 
into the cellar, which is kind of a storage area, and then we go down into the mine. Kind of weird how they worded that as a basement. I mean, I'd assume that this is kind of already a basement or a cellar, and then this would be the mine. But it makes sense. All right, what do we get for iron ore? Two. Oh, boy, that's not a lot at all. <laughs> We're going to have to stay closed for a few days, but I guess nobody's really going to be coming around because it's raining. Bum, bum, bum. All right, and it is summertime, too. Heavy rain, rainfall that was initially modest has turned into a downpour. The roads were washed away. Okay. Oh, looks like we got three iron ore that time. Or just ore in general. Bum, 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 bum. Anyone going to come and uh, help us from town? Can we get a miner here, please? Or a major or a lieutenant? That'd be appreciated. Maybe a commander? Cobra commander. Yeah, there we go. Now we got seven iron ore. Beautiful. Why well, let's go ahead and start smelting. That guy's not waiting in line, is he? No, that's. I, I think that guy's working at the uh, farm behind us. Cool. All right, back for more work. Got to make some more ingots. Let's open up in the meantime. Let's see if a customer comes around. I doubt it, though, in this rain. Imagine going shopping in this. No, thank you. Wow. Somebody did come to visit. All right. We'll get started on an item for you. There we go. Perfect. Looks like they're happy. Current a maximum number of workers. Looks like we can have someone join us. Number of days passed. Has already been two? You want us to make you a lock. For sure. How much for a lock? I think we're at five out of 20. Oh, wow. Yeah, it cost us four. Whoa. Three iron ore on this one. Everything is wet. That is true. Okay, just a moment. There you go. Okay, back into the mine, I think. It's hard work in the forge alone. The village chief has sent you three young men who want to become your apprentice. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, the young man is new to the village. He came from Gascony. Apprentice says, my name is uh, Theorus, master blacksmith. Monty is the local trickster and rascal. He tries to look like a nobleman in everything he does. My name's Monty, sir. I've wanted to become your apprentice for ages, if you will have me. And this is Stone, winner of all fights and wrestling contests in the village. I can do all sorts of things, and I'm strong as an ox. I sure it will be useful. So which of them is worthy of becoming your apprentice? Oh, we can only have one? Uh, let's go with the one that will raise relations with France, the first one. Comes from southern France. His parents are French. Oh, good. Alex. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go with him. All right. We'll call him Alex instead. All right. Now you will be my apprentice. You'll need a room where you can rest after working hard. Keep an eye on the level of fatigue and pay his salary on time. Your apprentice will um, improve all of his skills, but hammer and anvil are his passion. Oh, yeah. And now let's get to it. Accept and successfully complete five orders with his help. French taxman. You're a smith, right? In the name of His Majesty, the Dauphin of France, I am authorized to collect the land tax for the good of our country. All of you are just prey on honest people, no matter what, you're call, what you call yourselves. Are you paying or not? Uh, yes, I suppose. Definitely don't want to go to prison. All right. Uh, the Forge's workers will demand to be paid for their continued work. A, re a refusal will upset them, and if their mood drops further, the apprentice will leave the Forge. Oh, wow. If you want to get rid of a worker, you don't need to remove the stars, uh, stairs to the cellar. You can just fire them. <laughs> it is a Sims reference. La la la. All right. Can both of us work in the mine? Let's see. Because this would make things a lot better if both of us could just mine a bunch of ore today. No, only one at a time. Okay. Well, let's get our apprentice on smelting then. And we'll keep bringing up the ore. Oh, wow, okay. So now we're at plus seven. So he can smelt those into ingots, and then we'll take turns at the anvil. That's pretty cool. Glad we get employees. We'll also have to buy him a bed for his room so he can stay at the forge. No commute time. That makes things easier, I suppose. 
buy new furniture uh, for this room. We'll buy you a bed for over here. We will both sleep on the floor. Uh, or maybe over here. I can't buy him a bed? Wait, what's he going to do? Sleep down here? Well, I guess we'll have to take turns at the uh, sharing the same bed. Unless there's some way I can move this stuff. Oh, boy. Oh, what? You can't move stuff? Let's see. Buy new furniture. Choose the room type. Furnish the room. Let's see if that... Oh, here we go. Move item. There we go. I don't know why it keeps showing like a, win like a door there. Okay. That's not enough room, though. Oh. What about here? Ah, uh, see, we can't put it there because the door seems to open on either side. The door needs clearance on either side, and a lot of it. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. We'll uh, figure the bed thing later. Maybe we can build another extension onto the house, though I think it would probably cost us a little bit more than 93. Let's see, can we build a uh, floor onto the house? Yeah, 100, I figured. And with it raining, I don't know if construction crews can get here. We'll see, though. All right, let's give you your first job, sir. Let's see if anybody comes into town. Ah, there we go. Just some nails? You got it. Energy is looking good. Perfect. Well, now we can add that extension onto the house. That Let's do that. That seems like it'd be pretty cool to see. Let's make it like a triangle. There we go. All right, job done. Keep on smelting. Another old man is on the way. All right, we'll get you some what looks to be knife blades, maybe? Not sure what those are. Simple job, though. I sell skins and immediately back to you. Yeah, let's take two quick jobs here. to work now. Let's go with the uh, first one. Yeah, let's go back to smelting. Oh, not good quality. Oh, we need nails for this. Alright, let's take turns. Yeah, we need to pick somebody. Oh, that's going to be a time attack mode. Uh, who's the first? Oh, he's gonna be mad. Okay. Ah, oh, sorry, sir. All part of business. He'll be alright. There we go. He made a grumpy noise, but there's a green little uh, face above his head, so must be happy about it. What a downpour. I agree. She give a little kiss. How do I? We don't have enough iron ingots for it. Oh, there we go. All right, let's make a chain for the old man or a hook. Well, oh, we're gonna be out of materials soon. The higher your forge's prestige, the more appealing it'll look to rich clients. By increasing your forge prestige and upgrading the stall, you can attract money bags who are willing to pay much more for their order than peasants. In addition, stall upgrades will increase your maximum workshop storage space for wood and ingots. Prestige is increased when you complete orders, but it has an upper limit. Upgrade the house decorations and to increase your prestige <laughs> limit. With a stall like this, you can expect bumpkins. Time to change your ramshackle shed for something more respectable. Okay. To upgrade your stall... Open the room construction menu and press the stall upgrade button. Wait, we gotta shut things down for now. We, we got upgrades to do. Sorry, folks. Shutting it down. Alright, uh, let's see. So we need uh, our apprentice to do a few jobs, and we need to increase the prestige level. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a little nap. 
you head into the mines for a bit and we'll trade. In the meantime, we have 63 coin. Let's get you a bed, too. Probably going to have to both sleep at the same time after that work. We'll buy a simple bed just like us. There we go. Looks like it's purchased right away. What else does this room need? Does it need a kitchen? Uh, the room is currently empty. Oh, do I have to choose the type? Choose the room type. It's going to be a bedroom. There we go. Oh, it needs a table and chair to go in there. Okay. Oh, boy. I don't think we're going to have enough. We'll work on it. All right, send our apprentice down in the old mines. Could move a chair up here, though. Although I don't think we can move stuff up there. This door got in the way of me putting a bed there. I don't even think I could move this rack out of the way. But it's fine. Adding a second floor increased our prestige anyway. I don't think we can put this upstairs, can we? Can we bring it to a different room? Rotate item, nope. We can also upgrade, but that's fine. We'll put it for there now and we'll send Alex into the mines. He's already working hard. Looks like he wants to be paid soon, too. We just need to do a few more orders. Well, one extra employee would be nice. We'd get somebody mining full-time, somebody smelting full-time, and somebody also uh, smithing full-time. Any way to speed things up? Oh, yeah. Now we got a hang of this. All right, let's send our apprentice to sleep. Oh, I see. You can't click on them. Uh, workers need to be fed regularly. A hungry worker will make mistakes. Uh-oh. If your worker remains unfed, they'll starve to death. What? To cook food, you need to have enough provisions and storage. Oh, my goodness. All right, hold on. Slow things down. Okay, we need to get Arthur to go forge for a bit. Nope, he won't do it. Okay, so we can't... Full stop. We can't do anything yet. Okay, we got to do some more cooking, I guess. All right, we better do some uh, ordering of food. Oh, no, we can't because the courier can't come by. Where are we going to get food? Yeah, all this rain means that courier's busy. Alright, let's go back to sleep. Alright, Arthur, your turn in the mines. Alex, you come up here. Oh, he's got a bag on him still. That's alright. I guess he'll auto-return it. No, just return there. Alright, 11 out of 35. Nice. Full-time mining. There we go. Let's get him into bed. Night Owl. He prefers to work at night. Oh, good. All right. Looks like archers are hunting. It looks like we can order food again. Thank goodness. All right, that was a close one. Let's order some food. Okay, we can only order two at a time. There are five. We have 18 left. Looks like sanitation is low. Here comes the food. Uber Eats coming right through. Ah, there we go. Now we're making food. Good. Oh, good. We made a few meals. Let's each have one. There we go. All 
fight, Arthur. You continue to smelt. Let's our, have our apprentice work on orders. I've never seen this merchant in our village before. Alex, go check out who it is and what he wants. Uh-oh. Well, let's see what happens. Hmm. Call the owner, lad. I didn't come here all the way from Landoc to talk to an apprentice. Hurry up, my boy. Okay. Oh, here we come. Have you come from afar? How can I help? I came from the south and I'm setting up some trade links. I can bring whatever you want for the best price from Damascus steel to precision instruments. Want to work together? That might be good. Don't even think of refusing. I barely escaped the bandits myself. The roads are unsafe as thieves and bandits gather like vultures where army passed recently. You should agree as I am the bravest merchant of those prepared to offer their services to you. Our bandits are all we need right now. If we're talking about business, would you be so kind as to take an order from me? What should I make for you? Whoa, you got a lot of orders, bro. Okay, well, let's get to it. We gotta have our uh, apprentice do that, though. Okay, let's get some of these jobs done. We can also increase the quality of the house soon. Alright, smelt that steel. We'll do some uh, other jobs here. Alright, everybody's busy, sorry. We got other jobs to do, I guess. A big job. Okay, he's doing orders right now. It's only three out of five. Oh, okay. Well, apparently that didn't count, I guess. Oh, there we go. Let's do jobs for the old man. Uh, do the chain. Wait, he finished all these orders, but... Oh, the people left. The system is kind of weird, I think. Okay, but get back to smelting. We need to smith five chains for the big merchant. There we go. Okay, things are at six. I think it's uh, maybe eight that we need. Four and four. Yes. All right, back to smelting. Okay, let's see. We're gonna have to spend a full day just doing uh, smelting. Yeah, here comes more iron ore. Perfect. Yeah, very good. We got lots of ingots now too. Now he likes to work at night, so let's get some uh, sleep now, and we'll wake him up in the middle of the night to work. Our energy here is low too, so let's buy a table and chair. Let's see. Flimsy wooden table. And a chair for 30. That'll do. Let's go to bed too. We'll sleep in the uh, master bedroom now upstairs. High up off the ground. We'll have him go back to mining then. Nice. And we'll have Arthur wake up shortly to do some smelting.
And wait for it. There we go. Up. Oh. oh, darn. Well, that's all we have time for, I suppose, with the demo. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me. This seems like a lot of fun. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like uh, Terraria, but also uh, Kingdom or like Metro. Uh, the uh, Until We Die game, you know, with this whole side view. But also a lot of like uh, Crossroad in in here as well. Interesting. I like it. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for jumping in. Obviously just a taste of what's to come for the full game. So it'll be cool to kind of play it differently. Endless sandbox mode more available in the future. That's pretty cool. All right, leave a like to support the channel as we rock it towards 1 million. Pick up this demo today. It's all free. So give it a try yourself and download it on Steam. All right, I'll see you soon. Goodbye, everybody.